let's talk about dimension driven cells. The first thing we need to do is open the dimension driven cell tool palette which isn't immediately available by default. If I go to tools, toolboxes or control T and come down here for DD cells it's it's not there. Um, in order for this to appear we need to have the DD cell MDL application loaded. Um, we can load it here like so or as soon as we start working with dimension driven design say if I put a point in and fix it or if I had of just simply modified any other solution it automatically loads for us. So once that's loaded we go to tools, toolboxes, we find it's now available. DD cell tools. Click on OK and we get a new tool palette here. So let's create a cell to work with. Let's just do a quick solution here. Put a constraint on there. Height and a constraint on here. Width. Now there's a a good solution properly defined. I'm going to make that into a cell. So I select everything, place a cell origin, go into my cell tools and create. Call this DDD cell. Make that my active cell. Now if I go back to my DD cells toolbox and look at the second icon here, it says place DD cell. So I'll check that, I'll use that. And we get a new dialog box up here. And as you can see, this allows me to type in my values before placing the cell, which is very convenient. So if I type in 50 there for H and 150 for W, the cell gets placed with the correct dimensions. Another option to do when placing cells is to turn on save constraints and that allows us to place a cell with the constraints attached and modify them after placement. You notice this is a cell as I hover over it the whole thing becomes highlighted and can be selected in one. It's a good time to point out that um, a normal solution that isn't a cell, say this one up here for example, is part of a graphic group. If I turn on graphic group lock and now select it, or sorry, if I, if I modify it, say copy, the whole item will get copied or I can delete a complete solution by doing that, which can be convenient from time to know to know that it is a graphic group. I'll turn that off now. The next tool I'm going to look at in DD Cells tool palette is clipboard design DD design parameters. If I choose that tool and now select cell and accept, then if I switch to for example um, Excel, Microsoft Excel, and choose paste, paste special, and then CSV, you can see it has pasted in the values from that cell which is a convenient tool as well. The last one here, and this doesn't necessarily have to be used on with dimension driven cells, can be used for any dimension driven solution, is to drop a dimension. And that drops a driving dimension to associative or non-associative. So, so if I use it on this here for example, it no longer is part of the solution. which can be convenient from time to time. Now, unfortunately, the last few items in this tool palette, I can't get them to work, so I can't demonstrate them. Um, they keep causing faults in my system. I don't know if it's a system fault or whether there's uh, a bug in, in, in this version of MicroStation or something like that. So I can't demonstrate them at the moment, I'm afraid. 
they may be working in your system and if they are there is some documentation on them in the tutorial from the FTP, the Medley FTP server that I linked to in one of the earlier videos.